So last week I uh, blew my oil cooler in my truck, so we're going to uh, start working on it today. Some um, Monday morning, uh, we pulled in the shop here. It, uh, it should have got pulled in last night, but the, one of the guys didn't pull it in. So um, we're going to go ahead and get it pulled in, get the workbench cleaned off, and uh, start tearing her down. So uh, we're gonna take the oil cooler out, uh, put a new oil cooler in, we're gonna do the water pump. Uh, we gotta flush the whole system. Uh, I wanna change the oil pan while I'm at it, uh, while I got all everything out. Uh, so we're going to uh, we're gonna get at it. All right, got it inside. Uh, the oil pan is cracked right there. I've welded it. See the spot on the floor. Um, so I'm gonna replace it while I'm doing this stuff. So but right here, the oil cooler is back in here. Uh, we gotta take. The turbo off, uh, the EGR stuff off there. Um, then we can get down to it. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the water pumps down in here. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it while I'm at it. Uh, so first steps to get the coolant drained out, get it, get get rid of that, um, and then uh, and then probably we'll probably just go ahead and dump the oil while we're at it uh, while we're sitting here. Um, the first thing's coolant and then we'll then we'll see where we're at from there so i may just drop the coolant and then start tearing into it leave the oil pan alone until until i get the parts there or, or till last that way i'm not stirring up any more dust into the uh into the motor so uh yeah so we'll get started on it and uh keep you up to date on the progress here so i'll get the uh coolant drained out and uh I'll let you guys charge on the in the truck there and and then we'll probably I'll just probably set up a time lapse and I'll just show you working on it so see what happens all right we got the coolant drained um we got uh, everything power washed off uh, everything's cleaned up as best I can get it uh I ran the power washer through the coolant tank too uh trying to flush everything out uh still got the bucket down there uh, they still got a little bit of coolant dripping out so um got everything cleaned up so i'm gonna stick you guys up on the mirror bracket and uh put you on time lapse i think that'll be a good spot for it uh and then uh, i'll get to work
right so what i did was i uh, bolt, broke one of the bolts off there uh so we're uh, got it warmed up uh trying to break the corrosion i think it's corroded um i think the bolts corroded right on this this plate here where the um oil cooler's mounted to so i don't think it's actually stuck in the block i just think it corroded on that plate so um yeah i'm just trying to break up the corrosion then we'll get the oil cooler off and we'll be under our way. So uh, my battery died there earlier, and so you didn't see me take the manifold off or anything. It was charging. Um, but what ended up happening then there was I had these two bolts here on the EGR cooler that were seized up in there, and I couldn't get to them without taking the exhaust manifold off. So just part of part of mechanic, and I guess you just gotta keep going. So but we got that all off. Uh, I get the uh, oil cooler off here. I will show you guys what that looks like. So, um, but yep, so we got the EGR cooler there, an exhaust manifold there. Uh, I'm gonna get a new one of these tubes. It's pretty uh, pretty corroded on the back side there. So we're gonna go ahead and get a, get a new one of them. So, um, yep, we got the intake tubes there, turbo. So it is what it is, so. We'll just uh, keep plugging away, and uh, as soon as we get it off, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, got the cooler out. Uh, you can see that it uh, isn't too bad in there. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. Um, got it over here. Uh, this brass piece was sitting up in here, um, so I've got it off. This one's about ready to come off, um, so it comes off there. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm thinking that it may have not actually been the the coolers themselves. I'm thinking these seals might have went. Um, honestly, I think it's this one over here. See a lot of the, a lot of it's stuck on there. Um, looks like it kind of broke through right there when I took it off. Uh, it was kind of cleaned up. Uh, so yeah, well, we'll go get the... Uh, get my sander from home and uh, get this all cleaned up good so uh, this is probably gonna be it for today um, I've got got a broken bolt here yet I'm gonna get out um, so I'm gonna get that out yet and then uh, I think that'll be it for today we will pick up back again tomorrow um, and get all this stuff cleaned up and uh, wait for the phone call tomorrow for parts and then I can start putting stuff back together so this may turn into being uh, all day tomorrow maybe even possibly Wednesday so uh, we'll just see how it goes so like I said before I thought that aluminum housing had corroded to that bolt and that's the case so just stuck the vice grips on there and it's loose so it'll come right out no problem whatsoever all right day two last night I spent the uh, Spent a good hour or so cleaning up all the surfaces here. Uh, got all this cleaned up around here. Got up around the exhaust outlets. Got that all cleaned up. Uh, on the oil cooler, I got all the uh, spots cleaned up on there. Um, got the tube all cleaned up here. So um, we're good to go on all that. Uh, I'm going to start on taking the water pump out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the water pump since I've got all the coolant out of it and it's sitting here um i ordered one already so we're just going to go ahead and replace it and then uh, we're supposed to be getting parts today so when they call about that we'll run up and get them um yeah and we got uh i want to replace there's this valve back here that's leaking or it, that elbow's leaking and i want to replace these valves while i'm at it they're starting to get a little stiff um, and some coolant lines there. Uh, I'm going to replace both these coolant lines here. Um, the ones I fixed there a while back. So, yep, we got a good start on it. Or got, got a good uh, good start on it there yesterday. We should get in quite a bit more of it done today and uh, see how it goes today. All right, got the alternator off. It was sitting there. Uh, right here is the water pump. Uh, this piece from here all the way up to there. 
Uh, looks like there's two bolts up here, and then there's two bolts way back in the back. So uh, we'll get to getting that off, and uh, yeah, it should come off fairly easy. It looks pretty straightforward, so see how it goes. All right, guys, um, I went up to Morton and got parts from Peterbilt. Uh, we got the water pump off, um, got it off. We had to take the whole air conditioner and the whole bracket and all that assembly off there to get it out of there. Um, so here is the water pump here right now. Uh, so we've got the new one sitting here. Like I said, I went up to Peterbilt and got it. Um, I've got everything that I needed, um, except for the end of this tube that comes out of here, which looks like this piece right here. Um, that piece is missing yet. So I just called Peterbilt. They're gonna get her on the way. Um, it's gonna take me a day or two to get this all back together. So it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're sitting. Otherwise we got everything else. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint this, paint this all up, get that, get rid of that rust there. Um, paint up around here and then I'll clean this all up again after it gets painted and dried. So um, we'll get started on that and see how it goes. All right, we got the oil cooler put on. We spray bombed everything. Uh, just kind of freshened it up, put some paint on everything there. Uh, looks a little better. Um, so I got that done. I guess I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the oil coolers uh, when I put them in there. Um, they weren't like the old ones. They're a little bit newer or a little bit different. Uh, looks like they're going to last a little longer. Um, water pump is over here. It's painted. Uh, I think that's the reason why the, the other one was so rusty is because it never got painted and uh, it just rusted really bad along with that tube. So I went ahead and I painted the EGR cooler and then painted the the uh, coolant tube along with the manifold. I painted it with the uh, um, high temp black and the heat side of the turbo painted it too. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to paint any more on the turbo. Um, uh, yeah, so I think I'll just leave everything else the same. So we got uh, got that all done. Um, let's see, it is it is 2:46 now. So I've been working on it uh, this morning. Uh, started about I don't know 6:30, 7 o'clock, and um, had to run up and get parts. Um, so I took the water pump off this morning. Went and got parts, and then um, got this put back together to here. So we're progressing pretty good. So um, next step is to go ahead and get the um, get the water pump put on back in here. So that's what I'm working on now. And then uh, that bracket will go on. I unfortunately have run out of red paint, so um, nothing else will get painted. Uh, so. But it's coming along, so we'll catch you up when we get some more done. All right, so when you're putting the water pump on, there's three bolts back there. Uh, I think you can see the two. There's one one right there, one down there, and one way in the bottom. You got to set three them three bolts in the housing and then stick it down in there. That way you don't have to take the flywheel off um, or the harmonic balancer there on the front. So that uh, that's a little trick if you're doing a water pump. So you leave them three bolts or put them three bolts in there and then slide it in there and then you can bolt everything in. All right, four o'clock, we got the water pump on. We got the bracket here on. Um, that's where the air conditioner mounts to here and the alternator mounts to there. So that is the next step to uh, throw the air conditioner on there and then the alternator on there and then uh, will be to the point of putting the EGR cooler on. Um, the paint on it is still starting, still drying, so um, we may not get to that today. We may do that tomorrow. Um, so it's make, making good progress. It's about four o'clock right now, so it's uh, getting fairly late. So um, we'll probably work on this for a couple, two or three more hours, and then we'll uh, call it a day. All right, at the eight. Alternator put on, air conditioner put on. Um, yep, next is a cooler. Then we'll put the exhaust manifold on it. We've got the EGR cooler on. 
Everything's tightened up. So next is the exhaust manifold. Um, so we'll get on that. Uh, progress is going pretty good, so I think we'll uh, go ahead and get that on next, and then uh, I'm not for sure. I guess maybe uh, I'll go ahead and take these valves out since I got new ones. And we'll get them fixed where they're not leaking anymore. Uh, maybe I'll do that next, and then... Uh, do the exhaust manifold tomorrow or something. So it's getting pretty late. So it's about five o'clock now. So taking some time. This might be it for today. So we'll just see what goes on yet and uh, catch you up tomorrow. All right, we got the coolant lines put on, put on uh, new valves put on, everything all cleaned back up. Put on right, uh, got the exhaust manifold, put back on it. Uh, next thing is to get all this stuff hooked up, uh, get all the coolant lines and oil lines and all that stuff hooked up uh, before we get the turbo set on here. Um, we've got the turbo over here. It, uh, I'm getting some paint put on it. Um, so it'll look real nice and we'll get it put on next. So get some more stuff hooked up. And get going. All right, got the turbo on there. Get the lines all hooked up. Um, that's part of the EGR stuff there. The other lines there is part of the exhaust, so we got to get that on yet. Um, once we get that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, fill it up with water, and we're going to run it with just plain water in it, and make sure that uh, the oil cooler is sealed and we don't have an oil leak again. So we're going to do that before we put coolant in it. So we're just going to use just plain old water. So we'll get uh, we'll get this piece of exhaust put on here and the one down down to the ground. Get that one on, and then uh, and we'll test it, test run it, and see what happens. All right, we just test ran the truck. There are two issues. One issue is this oil line that goes to the turbo. Uh, you can kind of see it's leaking there. Let me, let me get the light. So you can see oil on the filter base there and that line right up in there, way in the back. You can kind of see it's leaking down it. Um, so we got that on order. And then uh, this pulley, this idler pulley up here in the front, um, the, the ribbed one there for the air conditioner belt, it's squeaking really bad, which I knew it was a problem. I knew one of them was a problem. I didn't know which one it was, though. So, um, that one, I just sprayed it with oil and it got real quiet. So, we are going to replace that also. So, the only thing we have left to do now is the oil pan, which I've got it over there. Um, and I don't see any water leaks or anything like that. So, I think we're good on that aspect. And... Um, yeah, we're uh, we're good to go here. So I will. Uh, I'm gonna leave the water in it overnight just to make sure that nothing uh, leaks uh, by morning. Um, I think I will go ahead and drain the oil now and get that drained out, and then uh, we will we'll get the oil pan dropped and the new one put on it, and then uh, that'll be it. We'll have her done. So that's probably Peterbilt calling right now. So get back with you later. All right. We get the oil drained out of the oil pan. Uh, we've got the line that runs across the, for the coolant heater. We got it pulled down. It's drooped over the steer axle up there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is just start taking bolts out. We'll get most all the bolts out. Uh, we're going to leave a couple in. Um, and then um, we'll plug the hole back up down here where it's draining. Plug that back up. And then uh, we'll drop this oil pan out. And we've got the new one sitting over here. Uh, put a little bit of put a little bit of grease on it, so that way we can you see put a little bit of grease on it, so then we can stick the gasket on there, and hopefully it stays in place. Um, and then we'll stick it up under there. So see how this goes.
I test ran the truck. Uh, we have just plain old water up in here. Uh, don't have any oil in the, in the water. So um, I'm gonna leave it sit overnight with the water in there. Make sure I don't get any oil that uh, comes back up uh, to the to the reservoir up there. Um, so I'll leave that set. Uh, we'll drop the oil pan, and uh, yeah, we uh, we're on the home stretch here. So uh, should be done before too long. All right, got her all back together. Um, I went and hauled a uh, load of feed. Uh, so I come back and this pulley right here was making some noise. You can hear it just ever so slightly. And it gets to spinning around here real fast and it makes a lot of noise. So it's actually the pulley right in here. It's the tensioner pulley for the air conditioner belt. So I just go ahead, went ahead and pulled the air conditioner belt off. Um, I've got two loads of feed to haul tomorrow. So I've got to keep rolling with this thing. Um, so. Yep, but it's all back together, done. Uh, don't have any leaks. Uh, there's a little spot on the ground right there. That's from the truck that was sitting here before. It's not from this one, so. Um, but we've got it all done. I ended up filling up the, the coolant and I've added another gallon and a half since I filled it up. So we, uh, but we got it all done. So uh, put together and everything, so. Uh, the paint's holding up really well. It's a high temp heat paint on the uh, exhaust, so uh, hopefully it stays like that and doesn't uh, doesn't deteriorate uh, and burn off. Um, so if it does, I'll be real happy with that. Um, obviously, I ran out down here uh, on the exhaust pipe. So um, when I put back together this oil line up in here uh, was leaking. So I went ahead and replaced it. It comes back up here, uh, back up to the turbo back in there. That's kind of hot, so. Um, but yeah, we've got it, got it all back together, all done. Um, seemed to work good. So painted the frame rail. So it's all cleaned up, so. All right, well, see you guys in the next video. Um, it took, I started working on this on Monday. Um, it took all the way till Thursday morning. I finally got everything back together on it. Uh, it would have been together last night other than that oil line on the turbo. Uh, 